Hello, welcome to an episode of That's Why We Have Hot Dogs in the Freezer. Something new and interesting is going to happen today. Today, we're going to do cauliflower pizza crust, and I'm actually using a book. I got this from my stepdaughter for Christmas list, I think it was this year. But anyway, inside of this is a recipe, really simple recipe, for cauliflower pizza crust. So we're going to try it. So the first thing it says is to preheat the oven to 400 to 450 degrees. I've got that. I've got a pan waiting with parchment paper. I've got that. They said to take one head of cauliflower and break it into florets. I've done that. So what we've got to do now is we've got to process these in the food processor and put it in a bowl. And then we're going to microwave it. I think, I'll double check. I think it said to microwave on high for three minutes or until it begins to steam. Knowing my microwave, we're going to be doing it for at least five minutes. But we'll see. And I've learned from experience with cauliflower that you don't want to overcrowd this thing. So we're going to do this in batches. I don't know what we did before food processors and microwaves and things like that. I don't think I could do this by hand. I may have to actually put my hand in this here in a minute. You see there, it starts to turn into rice. Which, by the way, this is how you make cauliflower rice. So when you see that stuff in the store, you can make it at home. I'm a big advocate of if you're going to make it at home, do it. It's cheaper. It's fresher. You know what's in it. You don't have to worry about somebody slipping preservatives in or anything. It's just a head of cauliflower with whatever pesticides happen to be on that. We won't get into that unless you... Anybody grow their own cauliflower? I don't think I've ever gone to a farmer's market where somebody grew their own cauliflower. But I could be mistaken. Have you ever seen a Romanesco? Romanesco looks like God decided to do pop art. It's, it's a really weird looking vegetable. Maybe I'll get one one day and cook it for y'all. Because I've never cooked one myself. But it's, it's kind of like a broccoli and a cauliflower but it grows in geometric shapes. Which, first time I thought I saw that, I thought, that's not real. I look closer, and sure enough, it's, it's an actual, real vegetable. Romanesco. Anyway, there is our head of cauliflower. And we have a mess, like normal. If you don't make a mess, you're not cooking. Well, some days I cook more than others. Um, so I'm going to take this and throw it in a microwave for about three minutes and see if it comes to a steamy thing and clean some of this up and we'll come back and we'll make some crust. So hang in there. This is going to be interesting or this could be the time to break out the hot dogs. We'll see. You hang on. We'll be right back. Okay. I put the stuff in the microwave actually for four minutes. So the instructions now say to put it in a clean towel. 
Well, I just got this out of the drawer. It may be stained, but it's clean. I'm going to take this and dump her out. Oh, that's, that's pretty steamy. All right. You're supposed to wrap it up. If you were wondering what this one's for, this is to catch this. Whew, that is a little warm. Something tells me I should have waited a little bit, but calm down. You're supposed to squeeze as much liquid out as you can. Whew. You know, a hot dog sounds good right now. So, anybody heard any good stories? <clears throat> All right, I think that's good. I'll take this now. And we'll dump this back in the bowl we microwaved it in. All right. Now, what I did. Remember, I showed you the book in the beginning, but uh, I wrote it down so we can get stuff all over the book. That's the way I am. So what we're talking about here is, let me sure I've got the right one. This is a half teaspoon. You know you've got a big thing of oregano in your cupboard. Come on, be honest. Well, I know you've got something big in there. Maybe your favorite herb or spice. I've got large ones, I've got small ones. So, half a teaspoon of oregano. And then it's a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. It's almost time to get a refill on the garlic powder. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder. A quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Okay. Since I always say you should follow the instructions the first time and then modify the recipe after, this is the first time. There's a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Then a half a teaspoon of salt. And it called for sea salt, but I've got kosher, so we're going to go with that. That's the first substitution I think I've done. Um, let's see, a quarter cup of shredded parm. I bought this at the store. It was expensive. It came in a bag. It was kind of fancy, but there's my quarter cup of parm and one egg. So there's my one egg. And I'm supposed to mix this up. I was expecting a dough. But I guess... What I have here is the makings of a pizza crust. And then you're supposed to take this and dump it out. At the 
transform it into what resembles a pizza crust. I'll be honest, next time I do this, if I do this the next time, because it depends on what this tastes like, but when I do this the next time, I will microwave it and then I'm going to let it cool a little bit before I work it because this is kind of warm. All right, well, it says to make it about a half inch thick. Well, that's to me, that's maybe a half inch, maybe less, because I don't really like a real thick pizza crust. And they said a 10 inch oval. Is that a 10 inch oval? I don't know. So the instructions say to put it in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes till it turns brown. So I've got the oven preheated over there. I'm going to take it over the oven, clean up my station again, and we'll come back and we'll take a look and see what this pizza crust looks like. So you hang in there. Don't go anywhere. You know you want to see how this turns out. So I'll be right back. Our crust is out of the oven. It's really, really hot. But we don't want just a plain old pizza crust. So I forgot they even made this stuff, but uh, pizza squeeze. Now this is six grams of carbs for a quarter cup. Okay, I'm not gonna eat the whole pizza. So that would be, I'm gonna say I'm gonna eat half the pizza. I'm saying that for you, it could end up eating the whole pizza. It depends on if the wife likes it or not. If she doesn't care for it, guess what? I'm gonna eat the whole. I don't, I don't like that waste food. So anyway, let's take this. I don't think I have ever used pizza squeeze. Ooh, pardon. Not brought a spoon. That's a little heavy on the sauce, Tom. All right. We will try to get up to the edge. Because it, I really, I didn't form an edge on this one. I probably will next time. A lot of next times. When you try something out of a recipe book for the first time, it's more there for inspiration than anything else. A lot of times I'll read a recipe and then do my own thing. This time, since I have never made a pizza, a cauliflower pizza crust, I thought I'll just give it the benefit of the doubt and for the first time, give it a shot. So that's our sauce. This is mozzarella. And really, I left the oven on because all we really need to do now is melt cheese. And I kind of wish I had some pepperoni, which I don't. But since this is just an experiment, we can live without that for right now. So there is our cauliflower pizza crust with pizza sauce and cheese. I'll put this in the oven and melt the cheese off and bring it back here and maybe we can try a piece if we don't get too burny off of it. So give me a few minutes and we'll be right back, all right? Our pizza is out of the oven. And like I say, next time I think less sauce, pepperoni, and maybe more cheese. I brought my trusty pizza cutter because it's pizza. We'll, we'll treat it like pizza. I've got a little prop underneath this pan so that you can see it because if I laid it flat it would be hard for the camera to see. So hopefully that doesn't mess us up. 
And well, whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoop. Well, whoop, whoop, whoop. Well, the first test of pizza is if you can pick it up, and this. I think this is a it's a knife and fork pizza. Um, it tastes like pizza a little bit. It's kind of sandy. But if you're low carb and you are craving pizza. I think this would probably be a good substitute. It's not terrible. It's not even bad. It's for what it is, it's good. That's the key for what it is. It is a cauliflower pizza crust. I wouldn't get out the hot dogs. I would go ahead and eat this. In fact, we are. We're going to eat this for lunch. So that's been another episode of that's why we have hot dogs in the freezer and that was a cauliflower pizza crust. I hope you liked this episode. If you did, please like, subscribe, share, hit the little bell so you get reminders of when I'm going to do this stuff. And I hope you all have a nice day and arrivederci. <laughs>